person's right. The person that I am painting this for is pretty open to what they want. Mostly wants purple. So let's try to do it. All right. This is a gray purple. Titanium white. My brush is wet. I'm going to dry it off a bit. Depends on how you want your painting to look. Whether your brush is dry, whether it's wet, whether you start out with a wet canvas, dry canvas. You pretty much have to play around with it until you get the look that you're looking for. I paint very chunky. I like my stuff to pop. I like it to be as realistic as I can get it. But still, I don't want it to look like someone took a photo of it. If I wanted my stuff to look like you took a picture, then I take a picture. I want to do something that is very hard to replicate. It's my own style. what we're going to do today. Put a little more depth for starters. Put a little bit of white, tiny bit of purple. I'm going to find my white spots and I want to put a little purple in there. I'm going to bring it out a little bit. See that I'm just softening it up a little bit. Not everywhere, just in a certain spot. So I still want that contrast. Like I said, play with it. If you don't like it, keep messing with the with your brush strokes. see my brush is getting drier and I'm not putting water on it right now because I don't want to dissolve or diminish any of any of them nice strokes. I do a lot is you will see me back up when I look at my paintings when you're up close you don't you don't see the entire picture when you back up that's when the picture kind of comes together paintings aren't meant to be all up close checking out every little detail which it's fine if you do but when you back up is when you really see the photo that photo, the actual painting, my bad. So when I backed up, I seen I like the, the darkness over here. Usually it gets light on this side and a little bit darker over here. That's how I usually do my paintings. I like the light and dark contrast. don't want to always press down hard on your brushes you kind of sometimes you just want to just lightly just 
just lightly put it in. Let's go back up in here. Notice that I really focus in on my sky. My sky is what brings my painting together. The background. Once you do your background, you really don't want to go back over it. After you start working on the other layers of your painting. Because then it's going to affect it. And then you're going to have to redo the whole thing. And good luck trying to get that to look the way that you originally try to get it to go. So, in my experience, I wouldn't rush to get the other layers in there. I would really get what I want to achieve for the background now instead of later because it's just going to make things a lot easier. Have I decided exactly what I plan on painting? Eh, kind of. I think I'm going to do the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse. But it's not really set in stone. If I don't like the way it looks, I'll just paint over it. And tomorrow you might see an entire different painting. It's just what I do. If I don't like it, I'm always going to paint over it no matter how much everybody else likes it. It's just, just what I do. So I'm almost done with this part. My horizontal, or my horizon line, not horizontal, my horizon line, I'm thinking is probably gonna be right around in here. That's why I've got a lighter color. The white is right here. My horizon line is probably gonna be just about like this. Just like that. So anything above this line, I want to make sure that I get colored in really nicely. Um, it's a little bit lower, so I'm going to kind of... That's nice. All right. I'm going to try to bring it up just a bit. See how nice that pretty white is kind of fading in? really work this white in there, this titanium white. That way it really puts some depth to make it look like this is really far away. Just a little bit of water because I see this I don't really like that so if I use just a little bit of water it's gonna blend it much nicer I go up in here put more water in there pull my paint when I say pull my paint what I'm talking about is you've got a, a thicker amount of paint in one spot and you start taking your brush and you just pull it down. Just keep pulling it down. 
if you don't like the look of it, you feel like you want it to kind of blend in more, wet your brush a bit. See how it just blends it all right in. Person I'm painting this for, I'm keeping in mind that she's in a very soft, soft, and I mean soft, I mean a, a very gentle, very religious person. And it's very important for my painting to show that soft side almost like during the storm. If that makes sense. Because we've all been through the storm. So, while that's drying, I need to decide what way we're going with this. So, I'm gonna warm up my tea, I'll be back.
So right now I'm not looking at a photo of the fork rash at Lighthouse. Kind of made a rough sketch last night. So what I do is I just kind of um, paint something on here real quick. And then I do the details. I go over everything later. college my art teacher always told me just get get it on as fast as you can on the canvas um, the more you take your time the more you think about it the more you're taking away from your what should I say here your natural style and I felt that to be right so that's how I teach everybody that I know because I found that um, it works well so there you are I don't really like what I did right here, so I all I did was I'm putting a little white on my brush, and it acts just like the eraser. Not going to get into what brush sizes I use. Um, if I start talking about what brush size I use, uh, it's just you can pr pretty much give me anything, and I'll paint with it. So I don't feel like brush sizes make a huge difference. Now, when I use um, when I do detail. Yeah, it matters. When I do sky, it matters. But it doesn't matter if I'm using, um, let's see what size this brush is. I don't have my glasses, but this one is um, a one inch. I could use a half inch, it doesn't matter. I could use an inch and a half, it doesn't matter. I could use two inches, it doesn't matter. It depends on what you use and if you feel like you need a little bit more than what you're already working with. So if I felt like I needed a bigger brush, I would just go to a bigger brush. But what you're using, you might like the way that it's looking on your canvas. There's no right or wrong. It's just you're trying to put what how you see things on canvas. So I might interpret a photo different than you interpret a photo which is fine and that's what makes all of our paintings differently unique and amazing because 
your painting won't look like my painting. My painting's not going to look like someone else's painting. That's what makes our art. It makes what I have and what how I see things, I can put it on my canvas so everybody else can see it the way that I see it. Just like when you put it yours on your canvas, now I can see how you see it, which is not the way that I see it, which is a whole new perspective to see it in another way. And that's art. It's cool. So I could paint this entire painting with white and purple, no other color, not one. And it would still look as an amazing as if you were to paint it in all green or the colors that you see it when you see it in up close live. But that's what art is. Art is all how you look at it and how you perceive it. Okay guys, I'm going to take a break.